Recently, I realized I was getting my Mending Villager all wrong. To get a Mending Villager easy, all you need is a good Villager breeding station. In this video, we are going to see how to get a Mending Villager and get a Mending Villager easy. With a Minecraft Mending Villager, you can get infinite mending books. With this method of customizing your Minecraft Villager, you will never have to worry about getting a Mending Villager again the slow way. Getting mending for Minecraft can take a matter of minutes. Wow, that's a tongue twister. And given that the mending enchantment is my favorite enchantment in Minecraft, I'll be building this as soon as possible in my newest world. Enough chit chat, let's get going. Okay, so for this build, you will want to be 100 blocks away from your nearest village. We're gonna start by building one, two, three, four, five blocks, just like that. We are going to extend a row this way, as many blocks as you wanna go, as big as you want this thing to be. Basically, it's for how many villagers you want, you extend it that many blocks. Then you're going to extend this side this way as well. We're going to close the gap, making a rectangle. And then this middle one, we are going to close like this so that you get a platform that looks like that. Then every other space, you are going to place a block. Just like that. Place a block on the four corners and copy this base exactly as it is, starting right here. Place trap doors above each empty space. Then on the corners, I'm going to build up one, two, three blocks, just like that. And I'm going to make this the roof, but it's going to be a closed roof, no holes or anything like that. Then because I want to see what's going on, I'm going to make the walls of this second story of this build glass. If I were doing this in survival, I would definitely leave one side open until I brought two villagers in using boats. But because I'm lazy, I'm just going to spawn them in using spawn eggs. You're going to need two workstations for these guys. I would suggest composters. This is a villager breeder and you can get food when these guys turn to farmers. Then up here on top, I'm going to place the beds. We need a bed for each one of these empty spaces down here. I have 12. And then two more for these guys up here. So that's 14 beds. Okay, and uh, I'm going to build up some stairs. And place down a door. That's going to need to be an iron door so I can get in and out and the villagers stay put. I don't know why, but instead of putting a button on the side, I like putting a button above my doors. There we go. Then what we're going to need to do is lock these two guys into their trades. Uh, you can do that using emeralds or using whatever they're asking for for emeralds. This is kind of a win-win because we get food for us and food to give them so that they breed. And they will breed, if you give them enough food, they will breed enough to fill up the beds so for every extra bed, that's how many baby villagers eventually are going to produce. These guys are going to keep trading and baby villagers are going to appear. Once that baby villager grows up, what you are going to do here, we're just going to pretend he already grew up. Uh, what you are going to do is kind of push him over or get him right above a trap door, open that up so he falls in and close. So now your villager is in his slot. And you want to fill up all of these slots. Now, this initial part is going to take a while, but once this is set, getting the enchantments you need, including mending, is going to be super easy. All right, again, I'm just going to breed these guys in. Oh, yeah, green guy's not going to work for me. Okay, now what we are going to do is place down sticky pistons in two rows, and we're going to place down the amount of sticky pistons as villagers that we have down here. We have one, two, three, get out of the way, cat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then we're going to simply place lecterns on top of those sticky pistons. We're going to run redstone all along the sides. And then we are going to put a lever down to raise them and lower them. Now we have our villagers over here. And if we pull out emeralds, they are either going to offer us books or bookcases. 
Now, the bookcase, guys, we don't really want right now. You, you might want one just so that you get free books. Here, look. So you get a bookcase, and then you break it with your hand or with whatever, and you get books, and that way we can trade easily once we do get our mender. So we don't need to worry about the bookcase, people. We're just going to see if we get a mender. Unbreaking three. That's good. Okay, <laughs> and we already got a mending book on our first try, but we're going to try and do it again, see if we can get a different price for our mender. Usually I don't get that on my first try, but I do usually get it within the first few tries. So let's say you didn't get a mender. Well, you flip this switch, everyone turns to normal villagers, and then they reset as librarians again. So let's see if we can get a mender. Okay, that first try didn't get it. We're going to try again. I tell you what, we are going to improve this village just a little bit. I'm going to break these blocks and place down fences. And then I'm going to place a fence gate in front of each one of the villagers. Let me show you why. We're going to do that on this side as well. Nope, let's try again. This is number three. Seeing lots of good enchantments. And there we go, we got mending. So whenever you see your minting villager that you want, you go ahead and trade with him to lock him in and he'll be good to go. Then what you can do is open up your gate and get him into a boat and take him to wherever you want to go. I'd usually take him back to my base or somewhere like that. Then you can come and close the gate, find a different villager and put them down the chute. You can use this method not just to get minting villagers, but to get any villager you want. I really hope you guys enjoyed this super easy way to get a mending villager. As always, thanks for watching.